Okay guys, so I want to talk a little bit about and show you some video of the volley. So in volley, typically you're up at the net, you're taking the ball out of the air. A lot of times we neglect the volley because when we're little kids, we don't go to the net a lot. Why don't we go to the net? Well, because they can just hit it over our head and the court's really, really big. So, and it just takes a long time to get good at the volley. So, but if you really want to be a good tennis player, even when you're a little kid, you're still working on the volley. You're still working on going forward. You're developing a whole court game right from the beginning. So usually what we see on the volley is when people first try to volley and they haven't had any instruction, they just go like this. They, they turn their strings to the ball and they just push it. It's kind of like a pushing motion. Because they can kind of line their eyes up with it better if it's in front of them. And it's just kind of easy to make contact that way. We won't see many pros here doing much of this when they volley. Okay, we're going to see them. What they're going to do is they're going to turn their body and they're going to come from their shoulder. So I want you guys to learn a few things. So if I asked you what are our, in this program, what are our two principles on the volley? Could you tell me? Principle one, the shoulder should dominate the volley. Okay. And that's a little different than uh, a lot of times I see people dominate from the elbow. But you're going to see the best players in the world actually dominate from the shoulder. And actually, you can't even really look at the best singles players in the world. If you want to find the best volleyers in the world, you want to look at the best doubles players in the world. Yeah, so you can see how he's here and he just kind of opens his shoulder out to the ball. Okay, that's what you want. So when I ask you the two principles, what's one of them you're going to say back to me? Huh? Dominating from the shoulder. Dominating from the shoulder. Hit it with your shoulder as opposed to your elbow or your wrist. And even if you do this, you see how my elbow is probably bending just as much as my shoulder. It's not to say your wrist and elbow won't move, but so everyone, let's stand there in our, in our chairs and just go move your arm like this back and forth, just from your shoulder. Not your whole body, just your shoulder. Right there, good. You'll actually get tired. Your shoulder will start to get tired if you do that long enough. So that's how you're going to volley, okay? Um, the other principle is that the swing, how you swing, I'm going to use another big bird here. Um, I think this is Gil Smuller. He's another very high ranked doubles player. You see, it comes from the shoulder, but the other principle is that the swing should stay parallel with the ground, mostly. What does parallel mean? Does anyone know what parallel means? What's that? Would never the ground. Yeah, would never intersect. That's really good. So if you hit a volley and your racket hits the ground, you probably did it wrong. So I'm always kind of swinging the same direction as the ground. If it's lower, I might get a little low and hit up a little bit. If it's higher, I might hit down a little bit, but I'm never really going like opposite of parallels, perpendicular. I'm never swinging down into the ground or up to the sky. It's always swinging parallel at the ground. So, two principles on the volley. What's number one? Yeah, use the shoulder, use the shoulder, okay? What's number two? Swing parallel with the ground. And the only way to do that, guys, is to turn your body and do it here to the side. You can't really do that in front of you. So you'll see these pro doubles, these best really good volleyers, when the ball kind of comes right at them, they'll actually move their body out of the way so that they can come from the shoulder. Um, and actually, to be honest, doubles will always really be a big part of your life. High school tennis, high school tennis, we play three doubles and two singles. And whoever wins the most out of those five matches wins the match. If you were to play college tennis, you play the doubles and the singles. Even if you were a pro, like Raven, for example, he doesn't even play singles. You know, really only like the top 100 guys in the world can make a living in singles. A lot of pro players make a good living playing doubles. So, and then when you go into the real world, you'll play some singles, but you'll most likely play some doubles as well. So I recommend you learn how to play volleys, learn how to go to the net, because it's really important in doubles. Um, all right, so what we're going to do before you go today, 
We're gonna go back out on the court. We're gonna do one, we're gonna just shadow swing our volley. We're gonna practice our volley, practicing those two principles. What are they again? Hit from the shoulder and your swing, your swing path. Your swing path should be parallel with the ground. We'll practice all that. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go back out there. 